Uh, so, if I click on this, this does nothing. Okay. <clears throat> uh, procedure closing razor. Uh, investigations into the malicious injury of a... Orwell informs me you've just encountered conflicted data chunks. Whenever you can't... Man, Orwell's pretty smart if it can tell that they contradict, huh? Whenever the contents of two data chunks are at odds with one another, those will be shown as conflicted. When you extract one of the data chunks containing a conflict, the other will become immediately in invalid, immediately. I'd highly recommend that you clarify the context of the conflict before you proceed. This is your decision. Once the information has been parsed, there is no way to reverse your choice. Why? What if I was like, oh yeah, that goes along with what I think right now, and then later I find something out and I'm like, oh no, 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 it was actually the other thing because of this new information. I would like to be able to just change it, but whatever. Investigations into the malicious injury of a police officer have been dropped due to lack of evidence, somehow. Speculated that the accused parents manipulated the trial. The case has been shown, the case that has been at the center of the media attention for the last month has finally come to an end. Cassandra W. was acquitted of the alleged assault against a police officer before the trial took place with the case being closed due to lack of evidence yesterday. However, the case might be reopened should new evidence be discovered. The suspect's lawyer, Joseph Langley, pictured above. Really potato-headed, isn't he? Uh, welcomed this outcome. Whoa, he was, stu he was happy to have won? Unbelievable. At no point has there ever been any valid evidence that my client was guilty. At no point at all. The revered defense attorney commented during a post-trial press gathering, The defense successfully brought video evidence depicting the incident in question, which eventually turned the tide of the proceedings. Meanwhile, the rel- Wait, how can you have a video that doesn't conclude it one way or the other? Um... Meanwhile, the relatives of the ex of the victim expressed their disappointment on hearing the result of the lawsuit. They openly voiced their concerns that the wealthy family of the accused might have influenced the outcome in her favor. The victim, a father of two young sons, was rushed into hospital after the incident in mid-July, where he is still in an induced coma, unresponsive to treatment. That sucks. Alright, I guess I won't pick anything just yet. Oh no. Once you pick, you pick. Alright, Watergate Pharmaceuticals. Uh, enriches lives. Yep, yeah, mm-hmm, contribution. Below you for our most popular products. A Hextatol, a Hextatol Forte, cough drops. Yeah, I'm just gonna skim through all these real quick. Yep, yeah, mm-hmm, fascinating. Uh, company. The name Watergate has been inseparable from the progression and improvement of pharmaceutical research for more than 80 years. Watergate, Par Fa Watergate Pharmaceuticals is one of the nation's leading companies in the area of medicine. You, you, you are probably the bad guys, by the way, if you live somewhere called the nation. You know, it's like being in the empire, you know? And at the same time, is the largest medication exporter to all areas of the world. The business Watergate Pharmaceuticals, Inc. has been in the hands of the Watergate family, owning and managing the firm ever since its foundation in 1931. I can add this, okay. The CEO of Watergate Pharmaceuticals is Bruno Watergate. I would like to add this, but whatever. Grandson of our founder, Edgar Watergate. Apart from working in the family business, Mr. Watergate is also the founder of Central Pharmacy Congress and head of the charity foundation, Children of Parges. Par Par Parges? What is- I don't know what that is. Whatever, I'm not googling it. Uh, Dr. Alice Watergate, co-partner of the firm with her husband Bruno, holds a PhD in biology and chemistry. She leads the research and development labor laboratories here at Watergate Pharmaceuticals. Cassandra Watergate, junior coup. What is a junior coup? Appointed to be coup of a pharmaceutical company, probably by one of her parents? No, 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 impossible. No way they did it. Being an artist and a junior coup seems quite odd. She also meant why? Why is that odd exactly? She also mentioned she had quit a job, had quit a dull job, didn't she? Yes, she did. Carrying the family tradition to the next generation, Alice and Bruno's daughter, Cassandra. Finally, I get to add that. 
Ah, now I see. Keeping it a family affair. Yes. Yes, thank you. You, uh, you pick up on the evidence absolutely splendidly, Symes. Documents that you have already reviewed may be updated from time to time as events unfold. The reader will notify you when that happens. Alright. The National Beholder just published a new article. You may want to take a look and see if there are any new invade if there's any new information available. Sure. Uh Well we then Oh no no no, i I looked at this. Apparently there's still something in it. Cause it still had a little thing next to it. Oh yeah. Oh, we are urgently looking for a chief operating officer to replace the retired, formerly appointed predecessor. Or maybe I was wrong and nothing stays in the family. Ouch. This is probably what she meant about quitting her job. Good. Oh, oh rude. <laughs> Alright, what we got in the headlines? Crime rate continues to drop. Uh, this is probably not related, is it? No. Headlines. Oh, apparently it is, because it's got a thingy up here. But where? Hmm. There's no, there's no chunks in there. I don't know. Whatever. Headlines. Let's see. Just skim through everything. Hmm. Okay, there is something over here, I guess. Where? So it presented latest numbers on crime statistics in the country. Never before have been so few has there been so few violent crimes. Yeah, it's almost like being watched 24 hours a day will put you off committing a crime. On Thursday morning, the Ministry of Security published the new crime statistic report for the preceding year. According to the report, the number of recorded criminal offenses decreased by 44.8% in comparison to last year. The crime rates have been continuously declining over the past several years as a direct result of the implementation of the safety bill. Oh, I can click on this, okay. But first, let me read the rest of the headline. Uh, Secretary of Defense, Secretary of Security, Catherine Delacroix, appeared very pleased by these numbers and declared this development an outstanding result of, successful safe, of a successful safety policy. When confronted with the recent assault in Bonton, she once again admitted the ambitious goals of the government have not yet been accomplished. She further mentioned that activities are currently being established which will have a considerable impact preventing future incidents. Alright, now let's look at this. Mmm, yep, that's a pretty steady decline right there, right in 2008. Oh goodness, all the way down. The party is elected in government, okay is a collection of safety-centered laws and statutes created with the ultimate goal to protect the freedom of the nation's citizens. It's the exact opposite of that, actually, but whatever. Central to the safety bill is the simplified, sped-up process of taking investigative measures against criminal suspects and their prosecution, as well as the provision of an increased budget for the safety relate for safety-related expenses. The safety bill also paved way paved the way for stricter regulations concerning immigration and general travel into or transiting through the nation. Yet, do not travel through anywhere called the nation. It also became mandatory to involve, inform employers wherever, whenever an applicant or employee is an ex-convict or otherwise regarded potentially dangerous. Whoa, background checks? Unbelievable. Since the safety bill has come into effect in 2011, the, true n the total numbers of acts of crime and terrorism committed have been decreasing continuously and the trend is ongoing to date. Th this is very surreal to look at this image. It looks like an episode of Reboot. The terrorist incident of 2008 was the terrible consequence of the premature retreat of our troops from Parges, a region torn by civil unrest for years by the order of the previous government. To fix our predecessor's mistakes, the party, when elected in 2009, immediately made preparations to send our highly reliable soldiers back to safeguard the region for the good of the inhabitants of both countries alike. After the Parge's peacekeeping, after the Parge's peacekeeping mission had been signed in 2011, our troops were sent off to neighboring country to perform tasks, including 
the distribution of aid packages containing food in addition to health and hygiene products to the mostly impoverished population, the rebuilding of infrastructure, particularly hospitals and schools, fair, upholding the law and public order alongside the removal of war relics as anti-personnel mines or unexploded bombshells. <coughs> oh god, excuse me. Training local police and military forces due to the recent stabilization in the parties, we have been able to reduce the number of stationed forces while leaving the overall goals of the peacekeeping mission intact. Good for you. Alright, there's something in here still? Oh, over here, this stuff. Uh, we believe, yeah, 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 you know, classic spiel, we like you, you like us, blah, 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 potato-headed man. Prime Minister Blaine, as much as remarkable as a match leader. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, look at this. Look at this nerd over here. Looks like George Costanza. Mm hmm. I wonder if these are supposed to be facsimiles of someone. Yes, hello, my cat friend. What? What's up? I see. Well, I can't help you very much with that one, I'm afraid. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, I came back to this one. Okay, so what am I looking for in here, exactly? Am I looking for anything, really? Nope, nope, we're good. Alright, so, I guess we're gonna make a decision on, uh... That stuff back there. Oh, hold on. I, how did I not notice their hair is different? Is that actually the same person? I know, somehow this completely slipped me by, man. Like... This is on an official website. Right? So this seems like it should be legit. But at the same- like, the fact he said that made me suspicious, but that's on a meta level, because I don't know if a video game would say that if there was nothing to it. But logically, this should be the correct photo. Now... Do I really want to make an, a commitment to that other thing? The case being closed due to lack of invest evidence. Okay, so... Okay, so let's try and pick a side out of this conflict. So it was either with the case being closed due to lack of evidence, or the wealthy family may have influenced the outcome in her favor. I'm just gonna go with closed due to lack of evidence. Not possible, wrong profile, my bad. This is what I figured, a PC that, pity that the CCTV feed did not actually help. Maybe it will today. Currently, I am thinking that our Miss Watergate underwent quite a radical change, don't you agree? Yeah, a little bit. Let's find out what happened in between those two lives of her. What may have caused this radical shift? That's an excellent question. Alright, so... You're invited to tea inside the rabbit hole. Is this some manner of euphemism I'm unfamiliar with? Alright, so date of birth... Man, I'm gonna have an issue with you if you put that your interests are art, music, and activism. Like, those three things specifically together. Art, music, activism. What a lineup. That's what I thought, Symes. So. What else we got in here? First day in freedom, far away from the shackles of Watergate Pharma, so she didn't appreciate being there much. Well, who's gonna pay for your stuff now? Mommy and Daddy won't like this. Yeah. Listen, Jake, I'm not Daddy's little girl anymore. My already, art already got me a lot of money, more than enough to pay all my bills. Don't you worry about me. Uh, despised, despised puppets of the state, you have finally managed to destroy us entirely. There is nothing left to do but to congratulate you. 
These are my personal wishes to you from the deepest abyss of my heart. Fuck all of you government lackeys. He opposes the government vehemently. No, 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 no. I'd, I'd say it's just a passing grudge. Well, well, Miss Mortigate, we aren't too fond of you either. Thanks, Symes, you're as insightful as always. Oh, we got some conflicted info down here. Sweetie, what's the matter? That totally doesn't sound like you. We haven't hung out for ages. You gotta get out from time to time. You'd feel much better. Mary, just shut your freaking mouth, okay? Mm, broken relation, broken friendship. Mm -hmm. I am not in the mood for your stupid act. I told you again and again, I cannot deal with this right now. Well, someone got awfully triggered by someone being like, yo, what's wrong? We should hang out. You gotta get out. And she's like, oh, fuck you. Fuck you, you little potato headed woman. Okay, you know what? I am really sorry that I still care about my best friend, no matter how often she decides to give me the cold shoulder. But in that case, that's the past now. In a relationship with Joseph Langley, I figured this out like a while ago. Like the first chat log gave that away. With her lawyer? Hmm, might be noteworthy. Yeah, it's a bit of a conflict of interest, isn't it? Oh, potato man. <laughs> 